Hey, to my fellow readers. So, today I just had my second day of work. It was not bad. I know I was still kind of nervous, you know, that first, kind of similar to that first day of school feeling. Um, you know, why I'm dressed a little more professionally and less casually than usual. So, I'm, but it was mostly training and assessments of, you know, all that kind of, all that good stuff, because, I mean, that stuff is important. It just takes a long time to do. Um, so, hopefully by tomorrow, I'll get to the part where I get to tour around the store, and the biggest thing I'm most nervous about, which is the bagging part. I'm a bagger, to, I will be a bagger at a grocery store. Um, and, you know, I, I mean, I've always, you know, watched my mom and dad, because I don't, I live with my parents, so when we go grocery shop, and I don't drive, so when we go grocery shop, I just go with them, and, you know, I might pay attention a little bit, but I'm so used to depending on them that I don't really pay attention as much as I should, but maybe having this job will help me pay attention more, and eventually I'll be able to buy my own groceries, because I do want to live on my own at some point, preferably before I'm, you know, my parents are no longer there for me, probably before that. Anyway, so it is Top 5 Wednesday. Um, unfortunately, this was a last minute thing because, like I said, today was my second day of work, so I didn't really get to do... I mean, and I know that... Um, the um, And... I know that the topics were put up late, which nothing, I mean, I understand that the, I'm not, you know, this is not my way of, you know, blaming, you know, getting on, getting on Sam's case about this. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's a fine they were up a little late because she was, um, busy. So, unfortunately, this, I was unable to film that this morning, or yes, or last night, but I am filming it now. And this week's topic is... Subjects, school subjects that you would like to take, made up, made up school subjects that you would like to take, inspired by books or you know, inspired by characters or you know, stuff like that. Okay, so and as usual, these are no particular order. Just whatever pops into my head. Um, okay, so first, I thought a oh, fun and interesting class would be political science. Or How to Be a Badass Queen, taught by Tyrion Lannister or Daenerys Targaryen. I also mentioned on my notes Selena, but um, actually, the pro it would probably be more appropriate to say Aelin for that, because she's the one. Aelin's the queen. Selena, Selena is her other, her other identity, who's not the queen. If you've read from Throne of Glass, you'll know what I mean. Um. I think it would probably be more about medieval politics because they're not from this world. So, but I mean, understanding their politics might help me understand our politics a little bit better. And I love having those conversations with my dad because, um, honestly, it's partly because I, you know, I like see things the way he does mostly. And I don't feel as intimidated and I don't feel all insecure around my dad because I'm just. Like, and I also trust my dad's, dad's judgment because he was in the government, so he knows a lot about what's going on. Um, I mean, not that I'm not making up my own, or not paying attention, it's just, I like having a conversation with him, essentially. Um, but it would be fun, you know, um, and, except, just getting his, Tyrion, like, he knows a lot about, he understands the politics about what's going on, he's very... He's, he, like, understands the insides of out in politics. Not that he always gets it right. I mean, clearly, he doesn't always get it. I mean, if you've seen the season finale of this season, then you'll know he clearly isn't always as smart as he thinks he is. But, and then, of course, Danny is, like, such an awesome queen. And I know why people don't like it when we all love Danny because, you know, she's, but... I like her flaws and all. She's awesome. Um, I think she would make. She's a great queen, and she's compassionate, and it'll be fun to learn from her. 
And maybe on the side she could teach me how to, you know, take care of dragons. Now, um... Okay, so I also said, um, magic taught by Quill from the um, King Killer Chronicles. He's been around for a long time and he's supposed to be really pow a powerful mage. And he can call the wind. And he, maybe he could teach me that. Um, and he's really charming. You, I think he would be a great teacher. And I think this that taking his class would be really fun. I mean, he's... And he learns things quickly so he could, you know... He could teach me all he's learned. All he learned. If he has the patience for me. <laughs> as a student. Okay. This is a really bad, I feel like. Um. But I really, I wanted to do this one. Because I, I think this, this month I'll only really be able to do two of the topics. So the rest of them are a little more hard. A little harder for me to do. I don't know, I don't know if I can. So I really wanted to do this one. Um. Okay, so for, um, I just kind of threw this one in here, in there, um, so that I remember, you know, that is dragon riding, tra dragon rider training with Aragon, um, so when he's older, of course, because, um, but he's been through a lot, he survived a war, if I remember correctly, and he's, think. I mean, I never did technically read the last book of, um, that series. I don't remember what the whole series is called. Um, I did not read the last book of that series. So I, I'm assuming he survived. Um, he has a good relationship with his, with his own dragon. He's, you know, an awesome dragon rider, and I think I would love for him to teach me how to be a dragon rider. Um, Okay, and the next class I said was Deduction by Sherlock Holmes. Now, as someone else said in their blog I was reading about that, they also mentioned that as a class. And I agree, either Sherlock would be the best teacher or the worst teacher. Because he's not a people person. He doesn't get along well with people. He's very antisocial. I mean, in the show, the um, he's very, he's a sociopath. Um, he's a little more, he's a little better in the, in the movies, of course, um, in the movie, RDJ movies, Robert Downey Jr. movies, he's a little bit nicer, but he's still very judgmental and very arrogant. I mean, I get that he's, like, a genius, um, so, unfortunately, geniuses tend to, I feel like they tend to be a little arrogant, um, thinking they know everybody and thinking everybody is dumb. So it's like, I would want to take his class, but I would also be, because I know he is really good at deduction, the art of deduction, he understands people and all that kind of stuff, but I would also be very intimidated and would be embarrassed to look dumb in front of him. I mean, I am dumb compared to him if you think about it. But I would still really want to take the class. I would be very conflicted about it. I'd be, I'd be scared and intimidated, but I would also really want to take it. Okay, so the last one I put on here is if you've seen any of Dan, if you read any of Dan Brown's novels, you are familiar with the character of Professor Robert Langdon. So I said symbolism with him for my last class. I think I think that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just making sure I didn't put too many. Symbolism with I mean he you know, he has hands-on experience with that not just you know doing the research he's also gone on a lot of a lot of these adventures a lot of these dangerous adventures where people could die um trying to understand things so he knows a lot about sim symbolism not just you know in both american european and, and european cultures and i think that and i just think that would be a really fun summary that is probably my second would probably be my second favorite class and I think he would be a great professor. I mean, he is a professor. So, that's a that's a given. Okay, so that was my lame top five with the saying of classes I would like to take. Main of classes I would like to take. Um, this is, and if you are interested in Top 5 Wednesday, it is a Goodreads group hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And was originally created by Ginger Reed Blaney. So if you're interested, I will post the link to the Goodreads group. So that if you're looking for topics and such. 
and um, 